we've got another standard coordinate plane question. And once again, we're given some clues and we're asked to figure something out. So here are the two clues. Cosine of theta equals one over five and the cotangent of theta equals zero. Or is, I'm sorry, is greater than zero. We're asked to figure out what is the tangent of zero or tangent of theta. Now, obviously we can't use the cotangent being positive to figure out tangent because there's all sorts of positive numbers the cotangent could be. So what I want you to do is fall back on your training, right? We always draw triangles in this section. So I'm going to draw a standard coordinate plane right here. Now the cosine of theta is 1 over 5. Okay, so remember what cosine is. Cosine of theta is like your x values. Okay, now that's only when you're on the unit circle. I don't know if one-fifth is on the unit circle. I think it is, but it's not one of those special angles that I'm used to. All I can really say is that it's positive. Now, I also know that cotangent is positive. So where is cosine, which quadrant has positive cosine and positive cotangent? Well, think about it this way. What's cotangent? Maybe you don't remember where cotangent is positive, but we do know that cotangent is one divided by tangent. Okay, so if cotangent is positive, that means tangent of theta is also positive. And you should know where tangents are positive. Okay, I've got positive tangent in quadrant one and positive tangent in quadrant three. That's not a theta, that's a zero. Okay, so there are my positive tangents. My negative tangents are in quadrants four and two. Okay, now which of these quadrants has positive cosine? Remember, cosine is the x value, so that's going to be over here. Cosine is greater than zero. Cosine is greater than zero. So where do I satisfy those two initial conditions? Positive cosine, positive cotangent. It's got to be in quadrant one. So that gives me a clue of where to draw my triangle. And let's now get rid of this stuff because I know I'm working in quadrant one. Okay, so we're going to just clean this picture up a little bit. And now it is time to draw triangles which is a large part of the point in this unit. So I'm just going to draw a triangle, okay? Let's get some nice fat ink here. Here's my triangle. Whoop. And there we go, like that. The shape of the triangle is not important, provided it has three sides and a right angle, okay? Now, let's see. What else can we say about this triangle? Uh, cosine of theta. Get rid of this stuff. Cosine of theta equals one-fifth. So what does that mean? Cosine of theta equals 1 over 5. Well, if you remember what cosine is, and this is going back to Sokotoa stuff, cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So what I want you to do now is just bear with me. This is what I want you to do. Uh, there we go. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm just going to make a statement here. Let's pretend the adjacent is 1 and the hypotenuse is 5, okay? There's theta right there. That works, right? Cosine, 1 over 5. I know the triangle doesn't look right because the side that's 1 is almost as long as the side that's 5, but forget about that. It's in the right place. Let's complete the triangle. Now, to do that, we use Pythagorean's theorem, which is that 1 squared plus, I'm going to call that y, okay? 1 squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, that means y squared equals 25 minus 1, which is 24. So we've got y equals the square root of 24. Okay, can say bye to y and replace it with square root of 24. Now I have a complete triangle. This is one of the major goals. You have to get a complete triangle before you can finish the problem. Tangent of theta? Well, tangent, if you remember, is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to make this, let's see here, the opposite of theta is square root of 24, and the adjacent is just the number 1. Now, if you want to put square root of 24, because square root of 24 over 1 looks silly, that's fine. This will actually accept both answers. It doesn't care about simplifying fractions. It cares that you're building triangles in the correct place and using the trig properties appropriately.